Hello everyone, Snipe Trading here. Today is uh, Monday, April 1st. I'll be going over my recap for today. So today, uh, it's a green day for me. Um, it's a good day to start the month, but I'm kind of disappointed that I overtraded uh, PULM. Um, but let's get started on my recap. So ADXS was my first trade. Um, as you can see here, um, ADXS had a huge gap. Um, and then in the daily chart here, you can see that there's some resistance at 11 and then there's this uh, volume bar here on the daily that peaked out around 11 as well. And then you have this uh, purple line, which is the 20 day exponential moving average, which, which was also at 11. So I had 11 marked off as a, a key area. And then another, uh, Another thing that I saw was uh, if you measure this uh, flag measure move here. Um, so this measure move and you add it to the breakout, you, you get exactly that measure move right there. Um, so that confirmation um, confirm or that measure move confirm with all the other move that 11 was a pretty much key area. So when it hit 11, um, when it was approaching 11, I started small uh, at like 10.33 or so. Um, and then I didn't have a chance to uh, add more. I I located 200 shorts, 200 shares shorts, but I only used 100 shares. Um, so I started at 10.33 there and and then my, my area uh, target was around this uh, 9.60 area. So I covered at 10. Um, just in case 10 holds and pops up um, and then I cover the rest at around 960 around this pivot point um, and then you can see um, there's an opportunity here so you can see um, a little cup and handle so that little wick um, another opportunity to short here for this uh, support break line um, but I didn't take that um, I think I was after after the trade I, I just stopped watching it and I think I moved on to uh, B -O -L -M. So that was uh, ADXS, um, it, it could have been um, a great short, uh, it was a great entry, but I pretty much just got a little bit of that move. Um, and that was a $44 winner uh, in the morning. Uh, my next trade was PULM, so as you can see here, my chart is pretty much a Christmas tree. Uh, over traded this a bit but um, I'm going to try to go over uh, my thought process on, I guess, each of these. And I'm not really proud of my trade trades, this uh, this ticker. Um, the first the first trade I did was a long trade. Uh, so I saw this flag happening right here. And then you can see um, I wanted this to base right here. So uh, when it popped over this 180, and it held as support. I went to buy with this uh, buy above that. So I actually bought it, but then this wick, there's a lot of wicks here. So when it pop, it, uh, pop up here and then sell back down here, I I kind of got scared and stopped out. And in hindsight, it went all the way to two and it would have been a good uh, profit. I would definitely take some of it there at two. Um, and then maybe hold the rest up here, part so. I don't think I would have sold, I mean, held it through all of these, but but definitely I would have sold some at two and two thirteen if I would have bought, or would have held that there. So I kind of stopped out there for my long position uh, for a small win. Um, and then I started shorting. Um, so this is a, another lesson to be patient because this is, it's still holding this uh, $2.10 support. So you can see, I started short here, cover, short, uh, cover, and then I was just anticipating this 10, 210 level to break. So I started short here, covered, and then I short here, and then you can see it broke 210, but it just bounced right back, so I covered the rest there. And this was pretty much, um, I mean, all of this, uh, I probably was up like $40 or so 
uh, from all this uh, scalp and then stopping there for this break uh, and then I was watching it uh, continuing to break to break uh, above this um, and then I started to short again so I, I shorted the front side of the move there and then I covered when it broke high of day um, and then I shorted this uh, top here uh, you can see this a topping tail um, and then I uh, added more short here and then I end up covering uh, for a loss there and then when I saw it broke high of day uh, with high volume and I saw weakness so I end up uh, reshorting again right there and then covering at this uh, support area um, added more short here for I think those cup and handle forming um, so I added more short uh, and then I think I covered on that wick uh, re-added more short and then covered here um, and then shorted I think added more short here and then just covered the rest there so that was that trade um, and then I had a few more trades back here um, so another cup and handle here, uh, shorts covered. Um, so it's a lot of short scalps, but I was more successful on the short side than the long long side. Um, and then here is where I went long. Uh, so I saw I saw this flag forming. Um, you can see this flag forming, uh, and I thought it was gonna break out. So I went along, stopped out. I went long here and stopped out. Um, so this this here was like a seventy dollar loss, and then when I saw weakness here on this pullback, I went ahead and start short there, cover and cover, and that was the chunk of my short wins for today. Um, and on the short side, I made two hundred twenty one dollars. In the long side, uh, down seventy two. So that's why I'm more a short bias. I feel I I do more poorly on the long side. So two trades. Um, up a hundred or two tickers, three three trades, up a hundred and ninety two. Um, kind of over traded today. Um, and I could have waited uh, on the back side of the move or a breakout here uh, on this bull flag. Uh, this flag would have been bad, but I think that it was really heavy uh, on the daily here. You have a lot of uh, consolidated resistance at this three area. So that's why it's, it was getting heavy at this uh, this level here. Uh, overall, a green trade to start the month. Um, so hopefully everyone had a great day. Um, and as always, uh, thank you everyone for watching till the end of the video. And if you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye.